Jean LaRue bass shooters. You know, they're real skinny profile, designed to skip real well, and you can really get precise with your dock fishing. And this little bait, you know, it, it imitates kind of any kind of bait fish. And you know, you always have panfish and bait fish hanging out underneath all these docks. So when those bass move up in there during the warmer months, great little bait fish imitator that they just scarf right up when it's under there. Nice large mouth. Pulled them right from underneath that pontoon, got way back up in there with the shooter. Gives us a lot more accuracy on our cast and it uh, allows us to get way back up underneath those docks. So when I'm out here looking for docks to fish, what I like to do before even making my first cast is I'll kind of cruise the shoreline, check out some docks, and then what I'm really looking at is my map. Most productive docks that I've fished anyways tend to have some kind of deep water access. So as you can see here, these contour lines coming off the break are really close together. So you got real good deep water access. And then I'll just cruise the shoreline here looking for any kind of vegetation or anything I can see that might be close to those good docks that might hold more fish than just say a random sand filled dock. So the way I'm doing this here, holding the, the hook right by the curve, keep my fingers safe, keep my finger on, on the line down here with the bail open, load it up, point the rod right where I want it to go, get low and release. And then as soon as the line gets in front of the rod is when I'm letting go with my back finger. So it really gives it that punch out there and the, the rod really loads up. There's another one. Oh. Small mouth. So I got my drag really cinched down. Oh, just a little guy. So I can really horse them out from under those docks. You know, you're using that spinning gear, just a little guy, but he was up all the way up underneath there using that spinning gear to really shoot it up underneath there. But you need the horsepower to get them out. So what we're using here is we got a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader to 15 pound braid. And then we got the drag cinched all the way down so we can, once we hook a fish, get them out of there right away before he starts wrapping us up underneath there. So when you're out here shooting docks, uh, boat positioning is huge. Uh, you wanna be able to cover certain sections of the dock with your, the certain boat position as to not spook all the fish out that might be on the other side of the dock. So when I'm coming into a dock, I'm usually coming in from the downwind side and I'm using spot lock, get myself perfect position so I can pick out my specific targets. And so I, I'm hands free with the spot lock there and I'm aiming right for that front right side of the dock. Shoot it right in there. So I'm gonna fish from front to back. So if I hook a fish in the front, I'm not spooking any of those fish that might be on the back side of that dock. Oh, good one, good one. Shooting docks. Getting way up underneath there going where other baits can't get to.